Hello, everybody, and welcome to our latest patch for Marvel Heroes, this one being uh, 1.09. And I'm going to start off just a little bit differently here. Uh, you notice that I'm on the title screen as opposed to in-game now, uh, but I just wanted to show the, uh, the cool background that we've got here. We are currently in the middle of the Guardians of the Galaxy event, and uh, what Gazillion did is essentially remake the lineup from the movie or the lineup scene, uh, which is pretty cool if you ask me. So, uh, as I said, the event that's currently going on is this 10 days of Guardians of the Galaxy where uh, every day for 10 days I uh, believe it started on Wednesday if I'm not mistaken uh, but don't quote me on that either way uh, until the I believe it is the 29th that it ends um, there are 10 different boosts that come out of uh, whatever different sort or uh, 10 uh, sales of uh, some sort and uh, it's pretty cool. It's it's really neat. Uh, obviously, we've got uh, Star Lord on deck next week for the release of the film, and we are probably going to get uh, Rocket Raccoon's 52 review as well, which is really really exciting. So, uh, as part of the event, we can get the Planet X Bark, uh, which is supposedly part of Groot, which is a little bit sad if you ask me. Uh, but the idea is that uh, you get it when you complete shared quest and or uh, shared quests and then you can trade it in for uh, for various things of all different sorts um, let's head over to uh, what's her name uh, Yocasta so that we can see what we're talking about so see Planet X Barks Planet X Bark, uh, 15 of them, gives you the Mysterious Crimson Box, which uh, gives you an artifact of some sort, which is really, really exciting. And you may notice that uh, most of the stuff on the list are actually the boss-specific ones from the terminals, which is really, really awesome. And uh, you get a, uh, loot, a loot explosion that includes a guaranteed unique, or a ghost box for just one. So very, very cool, really exciting, uh, lots of cool stuff. We do still have all of the stuff from the, uh, the conch shells and uh, even back into the uh, armor research drives as well if you're still hanging on to them. I know I am. All right, but you see we do have the, uh, the daily reward of the Planet X Bark, so that at the very least you'll be able to get something from it, which is always nice. In addition to that, we have uh, all of, well, all of the cards right now are on sale. That's the, uh, the super bonus thing. But uh, one of the newest additions to our particular lineup here is the Domino Team-Up. Uh, she was just released along with this uh, 1.09 patch, and so there you go, new team-up character. Uh, she is part of the uh, team-up pack that included She-Hulk, as well as um, a couple others, and I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, Wasp was another one of them. Um, don't remember any of the others offhand, but regardless, there you go. Um, Several other uh, changes, some uh, pretty major changes actually. They are continuing the AI updates, which is very, very exciting. This happened a decent while ago uh, that they started doing this. Uh, but now they're uh, continuing on to update the AI so that everything is appropriately challenging for whatever it is that you're uh, doing at the time. And one thing that I'm very excited about is they changed Curse's sweep attack. It's the, uh, the specific note that they have. Uh, not only does it, ha does it telegraph yeah, now so you know when it's coming, but it also does 30% less damage, which is awesome. I am so... So very happy about that. Uh, the other thing, the uh, Omega system finally got its um, its official um, final value for the Omega orbs, which is going to be 16.4 million. So it's still technically not out of beta, but uh, that's going to be the uh, the final amount that's required once it is out of beta. It is active right now. And it's going to uh, to continue to be the uh, the same amount once the uh, the whole system is completely done, uh, finished tweaking, all that kind of stuff. Okay, very cool. Uh, there are also some uh, very important uh, updates to the uh, the UI as well, the uh, user interface, which I'll uh, talk about once I'm uh, done with Shocker here. Uh, increases to loot drops for both 
the Hollow Sim and um, the uh, what's it called the X Defense, which is very very exciting. Those um, rare uh, reliquaries of rarity or whatever they're called, uh, they contain some super duper rare items sometimes. Uh, those are now more common, or at least slightly more common. They were never really that common, uh, but still, they're uh, they're in there a little bit more now, which is very very exciting. And let's see here, uh, the Muspelheim raid zone actually got some some very interesting changes with this. Uh, it's uh, just like with the Omega system, the uh, the raids are nearly out of beta, but uh, now what what's going on is still a lot of various bug fixes, but also there has been the addition of what are called the eye eyes of demon fire or the eye of demon fire, which is essentially a token that drops uh, during the raids. They drop from bosses, but you can also get them from doing uh, shared quests and also um, the uh, man ape. So the idea is that regardless of if you are just focusing on raiding to get these, or if you're just focusing on single player to get these, you can, and you can purchase item upgrades uh, for them, or item upgrade recipes uh, for them, so that way you can change. increase the item grades uh, for nice. anything you've got. So you see here, for example, my techno uh, organic virus inhibitor is uh, required level 60 and item grade 63. Now the maximum item grade is 65. And uh, there are recipes that let you do that for each individual slot. Uh, let me see if they are I actually on the crafter. I th think lab. that they are, but I'm not certain. Might not be just yet. Selenius, maybe? Yeah, I don't know. Well, obviously, they can't be in here because you have to purchase them. I don't think that the, the ability to purchase the things are actually in yet, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let me see. Uh, it doesn't say in the patch notes. I know uh, there were separate uh, notes for uh, specifically for these changes, and I'll put a link in for those as well. Uh, but regardless, uh, one of the very, very major changes to the UI is all of the boost colors now match the new colors for the items. So, for example, the conch shells are the sort of uh, fuchsia, purple, pinkish, and uh, the eternity splinters are the same thing. But uh, anything like the uh, costume cores or uh, ru well, runes are the, the purple as well, but costume cores are uh, this light bluish, just like the uh, uh, just like the crafting components, all that kind of thing. And uh, the difference being the difference between the rare and the special item find, and now all of the colors for the boosts have changed. So while yellow used to be experience, yellow is now rarity drop boost, where green used to be special item find, it is now experience, and where purple used to be rarity, it is now special item find. So it's a little bit awkward now, and I know for me personally it's going to take some getting used to. Not a whole, whole lot, but still it's a, it's a little bit shocking to, uh, to see that for the first time. Uh, or the second or whatever time. Uh, but regardless, that's uh, pretty much it. There are a bunch of other bug fixes of all different sorts from all over the place. Uh, still working on uh, several of the uh, major new components that are coming up, uh, such as the achievements, the login uh, rewards are uh, supposed to be working now. Uh, there, there were several issues with uh, some of them though, uh, particularly with the, uh, the day 13. Uh, where people were getting the uh, the wrong level unique, and apparently they're going to fix it, and you know whatever. Uh, but uh, regardless, not a whole whole lot left um, as as far as this particular patch. But lots of upcoming stuff still. Really excited to see what else they have planned for the Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, that that whole thing they have. Oh look, oh, I remember you from the forums. Hello. So uh, with that, uh, thank you very much for watching, and uh, happy playing. Go grab Uniques, enjoy the Guardians of the Galaxy, enjoy Domino if you got her. Have a great time, and I will see you later. It's as sweet as candy, it's taste is on my mind.